Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. Oh yeah, we're painting again. Well, I've actually got my tablet and I'm sat, managed to get a free spot, very nice. And uh, I'm gonna have a go at painting in the interior of a Lincoln Cathedral. Yeah, Lincoln Cathedral, it's the landmark of Lincoln. The landmark of Lincolnshire. It's a uh, massive building and I'm gonna go in hopefully find these comfy seats that I've been sat in before when I have my uh, sketchbook and gouache and uh, if I can get to them again I can paint this area that I really want to paint I couldn't do it last time because um, I was worried I was going to spill paint everywhere <laughs> certain areas in there I was, I was a bit nervous to be honest to spill anything but I, with my tablet I can go in there okay and plus I can record the screen so you'll be able to see what I'm doing so, I'm going to go in there now, brace myself, <laughs> hopefully I do a good good job. I'm looking forward to this, feeling inspired, that's what it's all about, inspiration. Go somewhere inspired and, and do something you enjoy. So I'm uh, sat down in the cathedral, well, not now, but I was, <laughs> I was sat there and I found a uh, place where it's the entrance to the treasury part of uh, the cathedral and, and I thought that looked, that looked good, that looked like a one I could get cracking on straight away because um, some of the areas that I wanted to paint um, well, one of them was just so complicated that I would probably have needed a week or two weeks <laughs> to do an attempt. But this one, um, I just really liked it. I really, I liked the doorway and uh, and and the way some of the pillars are and things. I just really liked this scene, so I thought, why not just go for it. Um, there's a few other areas in the cathedral that I'm going to paint, but uh, for the first <laughs> first trip, I thought I would uh, do this one. So uh, that doorway, like I said, that's the doorway to the treasury, all the uh, the fine gold and silver. <laughs> And it was actually locked up when I got there. Um, so, it had the uh, black bars across it, <laughs> which I quite like. Um, so, I'm in Photoshop. I'm using uh, beginner <laughs> tools, really. I, I like to use Photoshop like I'm uh, just painting, because... 
I don't want, I've, I've said this in another video, I don't want the tools to take over. I just want to act like I'm just painting like normal. So I just use one brush, which is the, a gouache brush that I downloaded. Um, it's one of the, st the ones that come with it. Um, you can download extra brushes and it was, it was one of those. And, uh, and then I just look at the overall color of what I was seeing and then I pick my color, just bring my color up and just pick it. And, uh, and just go for it. <laughs> I find when I'm sketching and being loose and not worrying. I don't worry about whether I'm going to do a good job or not. <laughs> That's out of my mind when uh, I'm out and about um, because this is for your own personal practice and and to feel that inspiration. <laughs> so it's stress-free, stress-free painting. And uh, you may find you need to do a few paintings out and about to get to the point of feeling stress-free. Because <laughs> I remember when I first started going out sketching from life, um, it was not stress-free, it was quite um, difficult and stressful, but um, hang in there. If, you, if you've never done it before and you're wondering, oh, is this for me, um, go for it and hang in there because it's worth that effort, that time, because it starts to become a really enjoyable hobby or... Um, it make things more interesting, like places, because you'll go there thinking, "Oh, I like to paint this," and you can I, you can get out, take photos of the place, and bring them back to your studio or, <laughs> or whatever to your living room, and then you can have a go at painting it. But I I really like getting out there, really. Um, <laughs> I never used to believe people when they said if you go there you get more of the atmosphere and more of the feel of the place. And I used to think, nah, they're just saying that. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and I thought, ah, they're just trying to be arty by saying they're getting the feel of the place and all that. Because if I take a picture and take it home, I could get the feel of the place. <laughs> That's what I used to tell myself. But <clears throat> I think you do get a better feel of the place when you're actually there, because you're actually there. <laughs> so you can... You, you, and But if you uh, go somewhere and take photos of the place, you can use your memory of what it felt like. Yeah, so I'm very like I said, I'm very loose with this painting. Um there's no doubt that I could have uh given up in at times because even though this is quite a simple scene that I've picked, there's so much detail. <laughs> there's angles and different materials like the the floor um had sort of a different look to the walls and the pillars look different everything just looked different <laughs> and you could get wrapped up in all those things and start losing it but what I always think is block in the basic shapes <laughs> look for the simplest most simple way of doing it ever <laughs> which I, I try and do now and then go from there because you, you don't want to do too much detail early on and uh, to be honest when you're doing sketching you don't want to be doing much detail at all really you just want to get the feel of the place and, uh, and have fun with it that's what I try and think anyway I think oh this is just a, a fun enjoyable experience and uh, and going to somewhere like this, somewhere that I wouldn't think of 
making up. <laughs> I wouldn't think of making up a doorway there and have the lighting and the materials and the colours and everything to be the way that they are. I wouldn't I wouldn't think of making that up. So when you go out and about doing this it it just adds adds more to your art. Especially if you like imagining places and uh, you can use sketches that you've done previously and you use that to to create places of your own and you can instill a bit of realism from your practice. So that doorway, <laughs> I kept looking at it and then doing a bit of sketching, then I'd look at it and do a bit. So you want to be looking at your subject more than your painting. You really want to look, 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 <laughs> and then do a bit of painting, and then look again and do some more. But really, just make sure you keep looking because um, some of us, naming me, <laughs> starts painting away and uh, doing their own thing, and then forgetting that you know what you're painting you start filling in the gaps with your own mind and that's not what you're there for. <laughs> you, you're there because there's something there to paint and you don't want that part of your mind to be uh, activated. You want to be using more of a, a strict... Um, I say a strict... A strict as in not a creative approach but a um more of the the copying type approach <laughs> yeah so i'm looking at these pillars here that go all the way up i was trying to get the colors cuz the um some of the pillars have got like this dark sort of greeny blue marble and then some of them had like a sandy colored marble look to them It's quite amazing when you look inside cathedrals that it's held up by these great big stone pillars and stone walls. Quite amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so big areas, big brush. <laughs> Just think of it like you're painting normally. If you're going to do a big area, you're going to use a big brush and uh, do the same on when you're using a computer. So yeah, that um, wall where the uh, door is to the treasury, it was nice. I like the way it was lighter and stood out. That's really what I found interesting about this. And I, st I actually sat on the stone... Um, it's not really a bench, but you could sit there. It was just on like a stone slab, but it had it was sort of in, in the wall, and uh, and it was next to a bench. But I didn't want to sit on the bench because I didn't get as good a view. <laughs> so by the end of the the uh, sketching, my ass was numb. <laughs> So I kept looking up, looking down, looking up, looking down, looking at the colours, looking at the shapes, trying to get the overall shapes. Now it was really complicated um, when it gets to this wall bit. And I was trying to imagine the way these the columns are the way it was all put together and then I kept thinking about the um, perspective as well so what I tend to do is I run my pen like that on the perspective line of um, the wall say if the walls like this I'll do my pen like that and then I'll go to my screen like that <laughs> I've always done that it's kind of a habit 
Uh, and it, it seems to work. Yeah, get it close anyway. If you're wondering what I'm using, I'm using a old Samsung 700T, and all I run on it is Photoshop. <laughs> well, and OBS, so I can record myself. But that's it. I don't use anything else on it really. That's all I use, so I keep all of the power just for this. <laughs> but it works, and it's been a bargain for me. It's given me a chance to do more painting. <laughs> so about this point, I was starting to get people um, walking around, milling around, looking at things. And uh, <laughs> I was thinking to myself, hey, this is my, uh, my set. This is my location. Get out of here. <laughs> No, actually, it's quite interesting uh, when there's people milling around because you can add them into your painting, and uh, and I li I quite like that. No one bothered me. They probably didn't know what I was doing. They probably thought I worked there or something. <laughs> I find if you have a sketchbook and paints, people will come over and have a look at what you're doing. But when I'm using a computer, they don't tend to do that. Yeah, this was quite a complex, these group of pillars that connect there. What I sort of try to do in my, with my brush, I'm, and <laughs> I try to look at the, um, how it looks, and then just try and sort of smudge it in there's a bit of a pillar there as well where I just put that block there's a group of um, pillars there of different colours like that sort of greyish marble I get the feeling that these pillars, these grey, grey looking ones, are really cold to touch. Now, I didn't actually touch one, <laughs> but they look like they were cold. I can imagine if I put my hand on it, it would be cool. So, uh, <laughs> oh, and there's a, um, a flag there above the door. It looks a really old looking flag. Uh, with a um, crest under it. Just using the old undo button there. <laughs> I've got my um, keyboard plugged in uh, and then uh, if I need to undo I can do it. That's one benefit of painting on the computer, isn't it? You can undo a couple of bad brush strokes where if you paint it, um, <laughs> you do a bad brush stroke, you've got to do it a kind of, kind of cheat a little bit to get it back to how it was, like painting over it and stuff. I mean, it's doable. <laughs> I, I paint a lot traditionally as well, so it doesn't bother me. Yeah, I kept that that red dull because the red on the flag was dull. I mean, like I say, it looked really old. That had loads of uh, <laughs> line on around that. Just trying to get that top to, to make it look like it comes out because it it does, and there's a bit of light that hits it. But I didn't want to do every little detail. I'm trying to just get that overall impression. It's 
See what I tend to do when I've got a colour on going. I use it as much as I can. And I do that when I'm painting as well normally. Um, using the same colour all over the painting. Ah, this area, there was um, these lights that are behind the pillars and it, it gets makes this really amazing effect with the um, to show the other pillars. <laughs> I just really like it. I really like this scene and uh, I started to imagine what it would look like if there was so there was a group of knights. So I've, I've been watching uh, Nightfall and uh, <laughs> I, I started to imagine that the, a few of the um, knights from that in in the uh, in the scene. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, so I'm uh, painting in these pillars, and this is a real challenge. This bit really challenging because <laughs> there's like so much going on, and my mind, my brain was just fried trying to work it all out. So I just thought, sod it, I'm just gonna go for it. Just, just go for it, and not worry too much. Because my original idea was I was going to put in all the orange, orange light, and then I was going to paint the um, these little these little marble pillars separately. <laughs> but then I was like, no, I can't do that because if I paint the light, I'm not going to get the pillars in the right places because it was <laughs> it just became. Like, my brain just couldn't calculate everything. And then, uh, I started to, uh, I started to understand the pattern a bit better, so I started to get somewhere. But I, I after doing this, I think I could invent my own, uh, S sort of made up area. I might try that. I might film that as well. Get a uh, get OBS on it and I'll make up a scene. Put a few nights in it maybe. That's what I like about doing this sort of thing. It really gets you inspired to do other things. And uh, I've I've felt like I needed more inspiration recently. I really needed to get inspired and get really fired up to do some paintings, and because I'm gonna, I've got some canvases pre prepared, ready for some paintings as well. So I'm gonna film myself doing them. Yeah, this pillar is lighter than the other, and I, I was trying to. <laughs> Trying to bring it forward, and there's quite a complex shape going on in in this area. Mm. Yeah, this was really um, a real challenge, a real challenge, and and that that's fun though. If you do go out and you find it really challenging, then you know that's good because. You want it to be challenging, you want it to be difficult because it's going to mean you're getting better. <laughs> so I was trying to understand the uh, architecture, the way they did that. It's really interesting actually. They had some uh, amazing stonemasons working on this cathedral. I know that they've had many stonemasons over the years work on it, and they're still working on it today. I saw some, actually, know one of the uh, stonemasons that works on the cathedral. 
and they're uh, always fixing it. <laughs> There's so many statues that need like new heads and hands and all sorts of things that are uh, broken because during Cromwell's time the roundheads came in and broke a load of a load of it and smashed windows and things and and they nicked <laughs> they nicked the uh, copper off the floor as well <laughs> I know that from uh, having this tour once because uh, I went on this tour around the cathedral and they tell you history and they and I went on the uh, the tour that take you to the top of the tower as well that was really good although I did get a bit of vertigo when I went in the um, <laughs> there's like this corridor above the main hall and you're really high up and my mind just started to go woo. But then when I got back in the staircase and I was going up um, to the top, I was all right again. I mean, I was fine right at the top looking down, but I just found that bit, that bit was a bit of a challenge. <laughs> Funny really, because that was a lot lower. But I get that when I'm in the tube as well. When you go from station to station and you go up the escalators, if I look at the people coming down the escalator when when you're quite high up, it makes my mind go a bit weird. And I, I just can't. My brain can't cope with it. <laughs> so I'm starting to get somewhere now. <laughs> I'm starting to piece it together. You just have to pick areas and work on that and then uh, just do what you, best you can and then pick another area. But yeah, it was it was a complicated scene this. Very interesting though. It, it really interested me. I think the way that they set the lights up, it, that lit the pillar up, um, it just re yeah, it really looked amazing actually. I'm looking forward to going again with my uh, <laughs> my sketching hat on, because there's so much to uh, sketch in there. Little little spots that you can sit, and little there's there's a few rooms that were. I could have gone in as well, and uh, yeah, it's very interesting. The main hall as well with the great big organ, that was that's a good one to paint. But the uh, that was one of my ideas was to paint that, but it was moving all the chairs, so I thought, you know, I'll leave them to it. <laughs> Just making sure that those sort of bits of pillar detail was in line. Just trying to get that shape. There's like a shape there. Didn't quite get it over there. You know, it's there when I put that pillow in, pillow, that pillow in, it just disappeared because it's the wrong colour. <laughs> so I just put a bit of light and I was like, oh, well, that doesn't really show very well. And I couldn't understand why that was disappearing. And it's because of the colours are very similar there next to it. Just looking, I can see where little bits of light are hitting and I'm just putting that on while I'm doing that. And then uh, I'm looking at these areas that need shaping. I 
I was going too light then. I was like, oh, I've gone too light. <laughs> Get carried away, you see. Very easy to get carried away though, and not not look, and and not stop and think, and you just paint away, and then you're like, oh, I, I haven't done that right. <laughs> I thought, well, I might as well put this uh, stool in now. Well, bench, I would say. There's a, a long bench there. There's the same bench next to my foot <laughs> when I was sat there, but I didn't need it because uh, I'm on a nice cool stone. <laughs> At this point, they were uh, schools starting to enter the cathedral because it was starting to get noisy, and uh, I started to think to myself, "Oh no, they're going to pile round here, <laughs> and they'll see me sat here sketching away, and they might get in the way." <laughs> But they they didn't. They uh, they were just doing uh, whatever they were doing. But there was no worries. So there's some blue light that comes through that at that point, and that it, not too strong though. So I just put that in. I just get a bit of the light hitting the uh, bench there really dark wood hmm. trying to fudge the angles to make it look right <laughs> I'm on a uh, layer that's already got the opacity dropped down so it's not working <laughs> And I was like, what's going on? Why ain't that working? That's a bit weird. I'm on a dark colour. And then I realised, oh yeah, I'm on the layer that's got a low opacity. <laughs> so, you see. Yeah, there's like small benches there. I was just trying to work out the um, angle that it should be at. Yeah, so inspiration, getting inspiration. You see, I get inspiration from a lot of things, um, from buildings like this, interiors I find inspiring to uh, sketch. Uh, woods, I love forests and woodlands. I find that inspiring. And by doing it and getting inspired it makes you want to do more and and uh, the difference it, it makes to your art when when you start enjoying what you're doing as well the difference it, it improves your your art so much well it improves your <laughs> enjoyment level so it improves everything doesn't it it's easy to forget that the reason you start painting is to enjoy yourself. Well, that's the reason I started. So you need to do that. Need to enjoy myself. <laughs> and I always think of stories when I'm doing it. I'm imagining, like I said, knights walking through here from like nightfall <laughs> with their their white gowns with the red crosses on Templars, that's it, Knight Templars there is actually a 
a night Templar not that far away from me. I have been to one. It's a bit of a ruin and there's not a great deal of it left, but there is the tower left. <laughs> I'm just improving things a little bit around here to make that stand out. So you just knock back that light and then the lightest area pops out. Using quite light pressure, and then you can get these little little bits of um, colour on. I'm looking at this shape here. Just filling that wall. I nearly forgot about that. <laughs> and we have quite a, an interesting scene there now, and you could add characters in and uh, I did actually have um, a person that was walking around waiting for the um, treasury to open he was peeping in here so I thought hmm oh well while he stood there <laughs> trying to peep in see what jewels are in the uh, treasury he was marching up and down waiting for the opening which was throwing me a bit because <laughs> I was like oh no he's moving again he's moving and uh, and then they opened the gates and they started letting people in and uh, I had to then use my memory he was sort of stood like that <laughs> stood there in the, this bright, light blue he had his arms behind his back as he was peering in. I'm trying to quickly do it. <laughs> quickly get an, an impression of him. Not really. Well, it's not precise, it's just a sketch of the character. It was quite good because it then gives my picture a bit of scale. Shows you how big the doorway is and and things. So I was quite happy that he was milling around. <laughs> And then the light that comes from that doorway was casting a shadow behind him as well. So I thought I'll do a bit of a bit of a shadow. Nice bit of a shadow, and then I thought I'd give him some hair as well. <laughs> there we go so finished sketch in uh, Lincoln Cathedral which I really enjoyed doing and I feel really inspired to create my own um, scenes in inside castles and cathedrals and things and I want to do some more there as well so thanks very much for watching this episode I hope you enjoyed it I hope it got you inspired and gave you ideas and uh Hopefully, I will see you at another one. So, cheers. Bye.